dear Brain Pop, I have been learning all about computer science and coding at school. What kind of jobs can I have when I grow up using this? From a Loudoun County student. Hi Loudoun County! We're here at the Brain Pop headquarters in New York City and I'm joined here with two certified Brain Pop educators, CBEs, Becca and Julie. Hey guys! And we're about to do a tour of our office and we're also going to be doing some interviews, right? Yes, we're going to learn all about how computational thinking and computer science is in a real technology company. So we're going to be interviewing some people who code, some people who don't code, but everyone um, at this tech company collaborates with each other and we're going to find out a little bit more about what their roles entail. Here we go. This is um, our Brain Pop headquarters. We're about to go inside, but this is what you're greeted with when you enter. Here we go. Okay. All right, so we're going to go inside. And the first person that we're going to meet with is our VP of product. Let's go. So we're here with Eugene, who's our VP of product. Um, and Eugene's going to answer a few questions for us. Hi, Eugene. Hi. Eugene, can you tell us a little bit about um, your role? What do you do here at BrainPop? So I am VP of product. And so at BrainPop, what that means is I look after two different teams, our product management team, as well as our project management team. In general, what that means is Product are the people that look after the what and the why of what it is that we build here at, product, at uh, Brain Pop. And project is responsible really for the when. When is this thing going to get done? Who needs to be in the room to get this completed? So mm -hmm. on and so forth. And if um, a student watching this wants to do this in the future, what advice would you have for them? Yeah, build things and test them. So if you think that there is a problem, Think of any problem that you've got, any problem that you see out there in the world or in your classroom or at home. Think of a clever way to solve that problem. Build a solution for it and then try it out and see what happens. And then if it works, great. If it doesn't work, great. Even better, because then you can learn from it and try it again. Can you tell us a little bit about how you collaborate with others in a tech company like BrainPop? Um, we try to make sure that, well, I guess for me, from where I sit, a lot of this is about the culture, right? The, uh, the way that we interact with other people. So it starts first with respect. I think respect for each other, respect for the things that uh, we are able to do. And so you wanna surround yourself with people that, that are uh, highly skilled and very good at what they do, um, but also uh, have a mutual respect for each other in terms of how you behave, right? So treating each other with respect. Uh, listening to what other people say, um, being okay with the fact that other people may disagree with you, uh, which brings me to my second point, which is uh, encouraging transparency. And so what that means is um, uh, allowing other people to say what they, what they need to say, um, being honest with each other, so always telling the truth, right? It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to have a strong opinion about something. And if somebody tells you something that makes you believe something else, okay, great, then you can change your mind because somebody has given you new data, new evidence to say, well, maybe the thing that I was believing before, maybe that was wrong, and that's perfectly all right, then everybody as a group can, can agree, great, then we all agree on the same thing and we can move forward. Awesome, thank you so much. Sure, absolutely. So we're here with Christy, Hi. and Christy's a project manager. Christy, we have a few questions for you about how you collaborate mm -hmm. at BrainPop. Um, can you first tell us a little bit about what your role entails before we talk about collaboration? Yeah, my role um, entails getting all of these moving pieces, sort of like a puzzle, um, getting all the moving pieces, seeing where they fit, seeing how it can fit within a timeline that's been established by not just myself, but by multiple other teams. So it's a lot of collaboration, a lot of... Mm -hmm talking with people and seeing what they're working on and what I'm working on and how that can make it, you know, make one complete final structure. So um, I understand that you you don't do coding, but you work with other team members at BrainPop. Can you tell me a little bit what that collaboration looks like? Yeah, 
Um, actually, one of my favorite things that we do is um, we have this schedule where we review um, wherever we've ended the cycle of work, review what's done, and people that do code, I often have them show us what they've done. And while I don't code personally, seeing that work has actually helped me learn a lot about coding, um, how things happen. So it's not so much having to know how to code, but having to understand what needs to be done and the final goal of something, and that code is a part of that, and um, making sure that it happens on time. Awesome. And if a student in Loudoun County wants to be a project manager oh. one day, what advice do you have for them? Um, my advice to them would be to keep learning and to stay kind and open. Um, that has helped me in this job and in every job I've ever had more than anything is don't, don't be afraid of saying that you don't know something. Um, and in fact, if you don't claim it and say, actually, I don't know that, teach me. I love that. Thank you so much, Christy. So I'm here with Omar. Omar, what are you working on? Uh, so right now I'm checking to make sure that uh, when you have administrative access to BrainPop, you can add and remove teachers from the system without any type of issues. Cool. Um, and so what do you do here at BrainPop? Uh, so I'm a quality assurance engineer at BrainPop. I've been here about eight months and before this I was working at other tech companies. And basically what a quality assurance engineer uh, entails is testing various parts of the website and making sure that everything's working as expected. So does that involve any kind of coding? Uh, yeah, so um, part of my job is manually testing parts of the website where I would like log in and click buttons and, and test every single little functionality. But there are some kinds of tests that we want to run in a repetitive fashion. And for those kinds of tests, it makes sense to uh, write programs that will run those tests for us. Um, so that's mainly what I'm developing uh, by coding. Awesome. Um, so if a student wants to, you know, explore this as something they want to do in the future, what kind of advice would you have for them? Um, so I would definitely say to take any type of like programming classes, computer science, uh, information technology classes, even graphic design classes, which can uh, help you with this. Um, I would also say just paying attention to websites and kind of like brainstorming how you think websites should work, um, you know, paying attention to all the details and buttons and everything uh, definitely can help as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. We'll yeah. let you get back to work. Um, we're going to continue touring the office. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Andrea, hello. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Um, we have a few questions for you. Do you have a minute? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So, um, for Loudoun County, we're making a video and we're trying to learn more about the various roles at BrainPop. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do here? Yeah, absolutely. So I am a business data analyst. I live on the data team um, and I'm typically working with sometimes financial data um, or data that looks at how likely a subscriber is to renew. Um, and I'm trying to make predictions based on that data. Um, so I'm coding in my sort of daily activities and I primarily use R for that. That's a statistical programming language. I also use SQL, which stands for structured query language to extract, transform, and load data in my sort of um, daily workflow. Thanks, awesome. Um, so for a student who wants to learn more about how they can do this, what kind of advice would you have for them? Um, so coding, when you're first starting out, can be really frustrating. Um, you don't always get everything right, right off the bat. Um, and indeed, mistakes um, are a key sort of part of iteration and learning wherein your code can be optimized or your code can be improved. Um, but in the beginning, that can be tough, that can be frustrating. So when I was first learning to code, I kept reminding myself, I really kept reminding myself to try to have a growth mindset and to try and remember that coding is a skill that you can grow and it's like a muscle that you can make stronger. Um, so not to get sort of discouraged when you get an error and you have to debug an error and you're not quite sure what the source of that error is. Um, that it requires um, perseverance and sort of creative thinking. Um, and then over time, you really get better and you, you start to see for yourself that, um, that that kind of mindset really works and is fruitful. Um, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to chat with us. Yeah, you're very welcome. I will let you get back to doing your coding. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Great. Thanks. See ya. Bye. See ya. So we're here with MKG and MKG is a project manager. Hi, MKG. Hello. 
Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at BrainPop? Sure, yeah. I'm a senior project manager here at BrainPop, uh, and my job entails a lot of uh, organizing and collaborating with uh, development and product teams to uh, create awesome products and features for everyone out there who's using BrainPop. And um, in your role, you must collaborate with other people at the company. What does that uh, look like in a role like yours? That's a lot of communication. Um, my job is to help kind of keep the team together, make sure everyone understands what they need to do, um, what kind of work is coming up next, uh, what's our priorities. Um, if people are having trouble or issues or being blocked on some sort of work, I'm, I'm there to help facilitate and figure out who, who can help and block them, um, You know, what can they do to get it fixed, uh, what kind of processes do we have in place. Um, so a lot of that facilitation in an organization. Um, and for a student in Loudoun County who's watching, if they want to look into project management as a, a career or an area of interest, what advice would you have for them? Yeah, uh, some really important advice is, is just to be, um, you know, well-spoken, uh, well-organized. Uh, as somebody who's communicating with your team, it's important that you can talk to people, that you can relate to people and, and help them with, you know, figuring out uh, issues they're having with solving a problem or they need to talk to somebody else helping them um, facilitate that. Uh, a lot of people look to you for, for guidance um, on how to figure out how to solve a problem. So. Thank yeah. you so much. Well, thanks for taking time uh, to chat with us. We're going to let you get back to work All right. and we're going to tour the rest of the office. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, bye-bye. Hi, Mandy. Hi. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you do at BrainPop? So I'm on the quality assurance team. And what we do is make sure that there are no issues in the website. Um, so as you're using the website, if you're uh, completing an assignment for your teacher, um, I make sure all of that works. Um, what are you working on right now? I noticed there's some code up on your screen. Yeah, so one of the parts of my job, one of the major parts of my job is to use code to automate testing. So basically, I write code that acts like a student or a teacher and it performs actions that they would do throughout the normal day. So we write code that um, as a student could go in and complete an assignment for a teacher um, and we write code that uh, could, as a teacher, um, grade an assignment or view an assignment or um, download grades. So that's that's test automation and that's what I do. Awesome, um, and for a student who is watching, if they're interested in exploring this as um, a career, what advice would you have for them? Um, that's a great question. So my background is in mathematics and I feel like that actually has been really helpful because um, through studying mathematics, I learned to be very detail oriented I learned to um, solve problems, and I learned to communicate uh, issues that I saw, and those are three very important aspects to my job. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, thanks for taking some time to chat with us. I'm gonna let you get back to work. Thank you. Um, but thank you so much. Keep coding. We're gonna make our way over to the 18th floor, uh, and that is Moby, made out of moss. The little moss bee. Um, and here's some student artwork. Let's go with <laughs>